So this is Filmology 101. We're going to be debating the, the merits of Sex and the City, the deuce. Carly is for it. Benny is against it with every fiber of his natural being. Female empowerment. They managed to kind of balance like the independent woman, like women's lib empowerment with like the let's have fun, let's celebrate our femininity. So, um, fabulous. Like rich, promiscuous, materialistic feminism. It's a new feminism for the new millennium. Ugh. <laughs> and I will subscribe to it. Anti Middle Eastern sentiments. The Abu Dhabi marketplace is like, it's like right out of Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, okay. It's like, I ah. Like, this, is, this whole thing is a backlot shot in like Brooklyn. What's the, Aiden, 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 Aiden. seems like, oh, you're, you're in Abu Dhabi? Dude, I like, come here every okay, other okay. weekend. I mean, I was just drawn in by the trip and I thought it was an actually like, Pro Middle East in terms of like traveling there and having a fabulous time and like, but I think the most important thing is that these iconic women of American culture That's true. are discussing these issues of femininity in a totally separate uh, context and a totally separate environment. Fashion. I thought it was fantastic. I mean, you, you really can't go wrong when you have Patricia Field. She basically captured each woman's personal style. And I love that she sort of translated their American fashions into this kind of like Middle Eastern. Well, I will say this, <laughs> or I will say this about Patricia Field. I believe I, I was watching the red carpet coverage. The interviewer asked her like, you know, if you could describe the, the costumes, the, the wardrobe in this film, how would you describe it? It's like, Aladdin meets high fashion. It was, Aladdin is already a gross simplification of, of Middle Eastern culture. They embody this idea of sex in the city. We're sexual, we're in the city, we're fabulous women. And right. they don't have to stay within those confines anymore. They just are. And I feel like this was like that on steroids. True to the essence of the TV show? Sex in the City too. I don't think it really has much in common with the television show. It has a little bit in common with the movie. It's the same writer director with uh, Michael Patrick King. MPK. MPK. Wait, can we just establish how much Sex and the City TV you've actually watched? A lot. I know the Russian, I know Mr. Big, I know Aiden, I know the Ron Livingston character, I know Charlotte storyline. She was with Kyle McLaughlin for a while. She uh, became a Jew. Okay. Samantha has was a Chance Crawford, Chase Smith, Smith Cheston. Smith Jared. Smith Jared. I mean, yeah, it's totally kind of disconnected from the series. It's, it's on another level, it's, it's, it's on another planet. Have sex with a friggin' 28 year old man and you're 57, like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I, get I down, you. get down with it. I say, that's what I'm gonna do. Character development. West side. We're starting with Miranda. She's married to Steve, Brady's in the picture. He's, you know, entering science fairs. Brady's just doing Brady. Brady's adorable, by the way. How cute is Brady? Gingers. Excuse me. Thanks. When I was like born, I had red hair. When you were like born? When I <laughs> What's up, dude? Just around, dancing, drinking, you know. I have some Auburn highlights too, but we all know a ginger when we see one. <laughs> uh, Miranda's problem is she works too much, her boss is mean to her, so she doesn't, she doesn't, you know, have enough time for Brady. And then they go to Abu Dhabi, and we have a bunch of crazy stuff happen, and then we have the scene that just patches everything up. And okay. it's just like- But can I- Charlotte's married to Harry, has her two little girls, Lily and Rose. They have a new nanny, but it's hard work. And yes. I And I should know. Right. I should know. She should know. I should really know. I should really know. Anyway, she's at a crossroads with- this is hard, and it's hard to deal with, and I need a break. Samantha's problem is she's going through menopause, and they confiscate her pills at the airport. Herbal hormones okay. or something. They're not even like... Her Her problem, her problem, is that she's too sexual for Abu Dhabi. Getting frisky with that, the guy who shows up on the dune buggy. She's at the cutting edge of female sexuality. Samantha's at the cutting edge? Samantha has sex like a man. How cutting edge is that for women? who have been having sex like women for however- She deals with sex like okay. a, I guess, in, you, in a simple, well, yes. you're welcome. Thank you. So now we, we move to Carrie. And suddenly I realized she doesn't like that her husband watches TV in bed. Watching TV in bed is like the cardinal sin of like, you know, a relationship. 
that just can't happen yet. That's symbolic of so many other issues that it's like not even funny. How many of you were excited to see Aiden in Abu Dhabi? I was. He looked great. Who wouldn't kiss him? It, it's just, it's just not, okay. it's not good. You know what, it's I will good. give you that it is a little bit contrived because- A little bit? It's a little bit contrived. Boy, it's great to see you here on Mount Everest. Yeah, now there's Liza Minnelli. Fluffity, fluffity, fluff. Acid trip. Final grade, C minus. I was on board with the fluffiness, like all about it, but I was also on board with like the real moments. And I know this was outlandish. Okay. When Samantha, uh, when her purse got ripped by the guy and all her stuff fell out in the middle of the marketplace and there was like a whole thing of condoms and she just yelled and, you know, was throwing the condoms everywhere like, yes, I have sex. These are my condoms. I have sex with men and I like it. So that was like a liberating moment and I, and I laughed really hard and I loved it and I was like all into it and I, I just loved it. So I give it a B plus. All right, C minus. B plus. This has been Filmology 101, our Sex in the City 2 debate episode. I am Benny. And I'm Carly. Adios muchachos. Westside. Westside. <laughs>